We need to be doers of the word and not just hearers. We are to change and transform our thinking and conform to the image of Christ Jesus and identify ourselves more and more like Him and less and less like the world. Mm. Did y'all get that? Yes. I'll say it again. We need to be doers of the word and not just hearers. We are to change and transform our thinking and conform the image of Christ and identify ourselves more and more like Him and less and less like the world. When God's Word is in your subconscious, things are going to change. Your life's going to be different. Because God is, God is with you the whole time. You're speaking words of God all the time. And you're walking in faith. God's telling you what to do. Just like Jesus. He said, I only say what my Father said, and I only do what I see my Father do. You'll be doing all kinds of things for the glory of God. Life will be different. And so I've reached the conclusion of this message. I've got a few more things I want to share with you before we end, though. We need to recognize that coming out of our comfort zone will involve some time and work being in the world. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. It's going to involve work. You have to study. You have to read. You have to spend some time. But it's going to be something that you're going to want to do. Do you want to transform who you are into the image of Christ? So that when people look at you, man, that, something, something's awfully different about that person. They're not like everybody else. They don't see the world in you no more. Mm-hmm. When they look up at you, they'll see Christ living in you. Amen. It won't be easy until we have reprogrammed our minds and allow His Word to enter into our subconscious. And it gets used, and it gets used to the Word of God. And this can only be done by reading and believing and by believing and doing what the Word says over and over. We've got to be doing something. Not just hearers. We, we've all been hearers of the Word. We all hear the Word. We hear the Word. If we come to church every Sunday, we hear the Word every, every Sunday. Amen. But it ain't enough just to hear it. It's got to start penetrating and be in your mind and your heart. So when you speak, you speak words of God. <clears throat> His Word has to enter into our subconscious. God wants you to change and transform your mind so that you see yourself as He sees you. Now I want you to understand. God wants you to change. He don't want you to be like the world. When He comes and He sees you like the rest of the world, you think you're going to get out of here? No. He's going to say, well, that don't look like my child. That looks like somebody's still in the world. Think about it. Is it worth the effort? <laughs> Unless you don't want to make it happen. Stay the way you are. Stay in your comfort zone then. <clears throat> God wants you to change and transform your mind so you see yourself as He sees you. Righteous, holy, beloved of God, with a divine nature and a destiny for your life. And that's a life endowed with His authority and power, full of love and grace. That's what mm-hmm. He wants to see in each one of us. Amen. We already we spoke last week about the uh, was it last week? Yeah, the authority of His name. There's power there in His name. Amen. And we got to be full of His love. If people can't see love in you and you don't speak with love, they don't see God. God ain't in you then. Because God's got to be in you so you express love. God is love. If you don't express your love yourself in a loving way, then they'll never see God in you. 
God don't see God in you. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> but, you know, God ain't going to see you if he ain't got no love in you. All you got is, heart, is, is hate and discontent for your brother. It ain't going to happen. Understand that if we stay in our comfort zone, now, and I want you to get this now, if we stay in our comfort zone, we will never do the supernatural and the miraculous. Okay? It'll never happen. You'll never see a miracle happen in your life because, well, you're not living spiritual. You'll never, you know, see the supernatural happen in your life. And then I say this because Jesus said, Greater things shall you do in my name. God did the supernatural. He did the miraculous. And then he told us, You can do the same thing in my name. And that's found in, in John 12, 14, where Jesus said, that, Greater things shall you do in my name. Mm -hmm. Staying in our comfort zone will not get you to fulfill your God-given will for your life either. Mm -hmm. If you don't get out of your comfort zone and start walking in faith, you'll never be able to do what God wants you to do for your life. Mm -hmm. That's where you need to be, in God's will, and then God provides everything. Mm -hmm. When you put His kingdom first and you're doing everything that He wants you to do, guess what? You ain't got to worry about, well, if I ain't got no food. No, God's going to make sure you got food. That your bills are paid. Yeah. That everything lines up. Everything's taken care of. Because you're doing this well. Mm -hmm. Now, there's going to be, you know, trouble that come along the way to disrupt that. But you're, gonna, you're an overcomer. Amen. You'll get over it. You'll learn from it and you won't do it again. Or you won't let that happen to you again. You know, people need to learn from their mistakes. You learn, you did a mistake once, you don't do it again. Get away from that. I ain't going to do that again. Huh? Cause me too much misery and pain. Huh? Unless that's the way you don't want to live. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that live that way. And then what ends up happening? I'm going to take my life. Because they got fed up. Put, you put yourself there. It's important. we got to transform. Get yeah. out of that comfort zone. Transform the way you think. Think the way God thinks. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, Understand this. Change your thoughts and you will change your life. Mm. Change the way you think and you'll change the way you live. The way your life is lived. Live it according to God's will. God's word. Things won't be the same. Change your thoughts and you will change your life. For you will either speak or act according to your comfort zone. Or you will speak and act according to his word and increase your faith. Mm -hmm. you got to choose it's mm -hmm. all about your choice you want to stay in your comfort zone or you want to get out and walk by faith Amen. and put, take the time to put God's word in your mind where it's in your subconscious and then it's just automatic because it that's where it starts it's got to be in your mind you got to transform the way you think in your mind yes. transform your mind renew your mind it says Now, I want to encourage you to move out of your comfort zone and do something great mm -hmm. for God. Amen. For it will be by His power and not yours when you step out of faith. That's when you're going to do something great for God, when you step out of faith. And it's His strength that's doing it through you and not your strength only. Mm -hmm. We can't do nothing without God in our lives anyway. So don't deceive yourselves and think, I'm doing something great for God, but you ain't got, got one single word of God in you. Mm -hmm. You're doing it all on your own because you want to. You want to stay in your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You don't want nothing to change. Just let it be the same because I'm used to it. Well, you know what? If you don't change and if you're in sin, you're going to a place you ain't going to like. If it takes work, it takes, look at what Jesus had to do just to bring us. He had to die on that cross. He suffered for me and you, and you don't want to spend the time to do a little bit for him. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one way, I believe. Yeah. 
You're either going to call yourself a Christian, you say, well, you know, every now and then I'm a halfway. Mm-hmm. That'd be a good term to use. I'm a halfway. Mm-hmm. I only do it halfway. I don't want to fully commit. Nah. That's going to cost me too much. It's going to cause me to get out of my comfort zone. And then uh, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. It's going to cost me too much trouble, too much work. I don't want to do that. Well, nothing's going to be easy in this life. God never promised in this entire world that things were going to be easy. He said, if they persecuted me, they're going to persecute you. So that immediately tells you things ain't going to be easy. But if you dedicate your life to get me, to transform your mind, getting in His Word, putting it in your subconscious, things are going to grow differently for you. Your life is going to be transformed. It will be different. One last scripture, and then we're going to end. Let's go to Philippians 3. And share one last scripture with you. And we'll end this one. Are you all understanding how Amen. it is that we get into the comfort zone? Yes. And then sometimes we don't want to get out of that comfort zone because it's too easy. Mm-hmm. Everything's automatic. You know, it's, it's I know that i got to get up in the morning and go to work. Well, why don't you get up a little extra early, get in His Word so that you walk in His Word that day. Yeah. But that's going to take work. That takes me out of my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. But that's what it's going to take. Philippians 3. We're going to look at a few verses here. I'm going to start in verse 8. Everybody have it? Amen. Here Paul says, the Word of God tells us here, But indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. He's lost a bunch of stuff. And count them all rubbish. That I may gain Christ. Do you want to gain Christ? Don't worry about what you ain't got. Be grateful for what you do got. And he said, and be found in him. Not having my own righteousness, which is from the law. But that which is through faith in Christ. And the righteousness which is from God by faith. That I may know him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His suffering being conformed to His death. If by any means I may obtain to the resurrection of the dead, now that I am already obtained, or am I already perfected, but I press on, that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me, Brethren, I do not count myself to apprehend it, but one thing I do. This is what I want to get across. One thing that you should do. Forget those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press forward to the goal of the prize of the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's what each one of us has to do. Get into the calling. What did God call you to do? He didn't put you on the planet just to sit here and eat donuts and that.